What's up guys, Lifting here. I just want to show you my current belt project, what I'm working on uh, in Prophecy right now. And uh, it all revolves around this bow, Doomfletch Prism. And I made a video not too long ago explaining this, but basically the rundown and the cool thing about this is that uh, with Doomfletch Prism, the upgraded Doomfletch, you gain 110% of both physical damage as extra damage of each element, whereas the non-upgraded one you only gain 110% of a random element. So here you gain 330, whereas with the other one, it's only 110% of some random element, right? So basically with this, we will be uh, dealing tons of coal, tons of fire and salt, tons of lightning damage. And uh, to really make this cool, I am playing it as the Templar. I'll be going as the, as the Inquisitor because the Inquisitor will allow me to pick up uh, the node that penetrates monsters elemental resistances when we crit so that means i don't have to use cold pen or fire pen or lightning pen right uh, and will of course deal um, much much more damage and ultimately this also means that every time we crit will be both shocking igniting and freezing so it's gonna be uh, pretty cool and uh, the way you scale this is by having uh, flat physical damage on your gear right now i have a lot of flash uh, flat fists on the ring here. This one uh, not too much yet, but I have a ring waiting. I have a decent amulet with some flat fists. I'm using fox shade while leveling adds flat fists. You could use a Meganords as well if you want to. You could ultimately also use an Abyssus, uh, although I don't want to do that. It's going to make me too squishy. It will add a ton of damage, a ton of damage, but it's not really worth it. One thing that's amazing for this type of build here, however, is uh, Drill Neck. Because Drillneck, as you can see, also adds that flat physical damage to um, to attacks. And then, of course, the projectile damage increased by arrow pierce chains. And that's the cool thing with Siege Ballista, because Siege Ballista has 100% uh, percent, uh, chains to pierce uh, inherently. It's in the skill, so you don't even have to pick up the, um, the pierce nodes over here or use the pierce gem for that matter. So you basically just gain 100% increased projectile damage. And then on top of that, you of course gain the increased attack speed and life and so forth. And one thing that's incredibly important for Siege Ballista, and I made a belt, I made a Siege Ballista belt not too long ago. And one thing I really found that was important is that you pick up attack speed, because otherwise the aiming is gonna feel a little off. So I'll be picking up some attack and accuracy. Uh, I may pick up Berserking, I haven't chosen yet, but then we have things such as uh, Art of the Gladiator. Finesse, and then I'll try to uh, branch into this part of the tree, grab the life here, head up here, get at acrobatics as a part of my defense, uh, blood drinker, and then head into the shadow part of the uh, of the tree. There's a few points I want to pick up over here, and then I, as I said, I want to go as the Inquisitor. So, but let me show you how the uh, how it works right now. The damage is really uh, really nice right now. Uh, so why can we test this properly? Let me just go to act. Let me just show you in the ledge. We're, not, we're only level 45, so it shouldn't matter too much. Um, we're not super over leveled for that. But it pretty much one shots um, white monsters right now. And that was a two shot on rare. So take a look at the insane damage it deals here. That's blue monsters. It's pretty much uh, one shotting. And then once we start to crit, which we don't really do right now. Uh, it will be uh, it'll be freezing, igniting, and shocking. So that's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. And the absolute awesome thing about siege ballista compared to something like flame totems or shockwave totems is the way that they can scale. So the better gear you have, <laughs> well, that pretty much goes for anything. The more damage it's gonna deal. But siege ballista just has. Because of the, it, it scales off your weapon, you just have more scalability and you can end up dealing a ton of damage that way. Um, let's kill Kaduku. That's a three shot Kaduku here. And I want to heavily emphasize that this is with very budget gear. I paid a lot for the amulet, but that's because I wanted to use that for endgame. But everything, just get a bit of flat fist on this and you can do this right now for about 6 C. This bow will be the endgame bow. The only thing that's going to cost is getting it uh, a 5 or 6 links if I want to do that. Or I can do that on the chest. 
and uh, I will of course keep you guys uh, updated with the build. Today I'll be leveling it uh, quite a lot on the stream and once I get it a little further, once I pick up the Ascendancy class, get a bit of crits, uh, I will make a new video showing you how it's performing. And uh, of course, once we get into maps and all that stuff, we want to see how it performs endgame. I'm very, very confident in this build right now. I think it's going to be absolutely beastly. It's going to be very, very strong. Um, so yeah, I'm not even doubting it's going to be strong. But anyway, guys, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, I'll make sure to keep you guys updated. Thank you for watching. And bros, do you even nerd?